Hello everyone, I am Shore Gurbani from Project Control Academy and today I have the honor of talking to Stefan Bakker uh, from Cleopatra Enterprise. Uh, Stefan, thank you for accepting this call. Yeah, thank you very much. Good afternoon, uh, Shore. Yeah. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here to learn more about Cleopatra and introducing uh, the solution that you provide to our community. Tell us more, more about Cleopatra and what solution you offer. Yeah, well, I'll do my best to uh, summarize it uh, briefly, of course, but sure. Cleopatra is an integrated project controls uh, software tool uh, that is used by a lot of our clients to yeah, manage their projects, obviously, and finish their projects within time and, uh, and budget. So is it primarily project control tool or cost management? Uh, like, what's the primary focus of Cleopatra? Yeah, well, as you can see uh, on some of the banners here in the background, um, yeah, we do basically the whole process from start of the project until execution and beyond. And so it starts with yeah, the defining the scope of your project, uh, estimating that scope, uh, but then also making sure yeah, you have a connection to your uh, schedule. Um, and then, of course, managing the execution part of your project, which is equally important. Um, so that yeah, means also uh, tracking your changes, uh, updating your progress and forecast during the execution phase. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, also had to capture the closeout data of your projects nice. to be able to close the loop back to your estimates again, so that you oh, can uh, improve those in the future. So talking about closeout, I'm curious to know how you use the closeout, because majority of the projects, we don't do good closeouts and don't do a good job on lesson learned. And I really love the fact that you said you close the loop with the estimate. Can you just elaborate more on that, how you do this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're completely right yeah, that this is yeah. often a very yeah, overlooked part of uh, yeah. projects in many organizations. Um, so yeah, I think we all re recognize the situation where we do collect a lot of data from our projects, but yeah. actually using that to our advantage, yeah, that's a big challenge and something we see a lot. Yeah, that's also why we are focusing on that uh, with Cleopatra. Huh? So we offer yeah, our clients the possibility to yeah, build up their own yeah, benchmarking database huh? so that nice. you can organize and structure your data properly, mm -hmm. which makes it also a lot easier, of course, to then do your analytics and yeah, look for cost relationships within your projects, uh, key quantities, metrics of all kinds of sorts. Uh, which are really helpful. And yeah, I love the fact that you said benchmarking using the data for future projects too. So, and do you also do analysis with the original estimate that you had to see how you performed closing yeah, of that course. low? Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. where the lessons learned come in, of course, yes. yeah, to see, of course, okay, yeah, what have we estimated for our project um, and how does that compare to reality eventually? Okay. Um, and of course, understanding yeah, what drives those differences, yeah, those variances that we do see. Uh, is that because of the, the scope that has grown or is it because yeah, we underestimated certain parts in our project or mm -hmm. yeah, was there a schedule delay or were there other kinds of risks involved that yeah, caused the project to, uh, yeah, to overrun or sometimes underrun, uh, not as often unfortunately, but yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So you also brought up earlier about the integration. So integrating with the schedule, with the cost estimate, can you just uh, provide, because integration it has been always a challenge in any tool and everyone is looking for one point solution. So how integration works in Calopatra? Yeah, well, as you can see and what I've yeah, briefly tried to explain, of course, that we can do a lot of things already within our platform, within Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a modular based system. So you can choose yeah, which parts you want to use Cleopatra for. Mm -hmm. But technically, yeah, you can use it from start to finish to manage your project. Uh, having said that, uh, there are, of course, still other tools involved uh, that um, yeah, focus on a different purpose, uh, like ERP tools or scheduling tools. Um, and we just need to make sure that we can very easily integrate, communicate with those systems. Um, so we have already developed some yeah, predefined connectors uh, with those more commonly used systems out there like Primavera P6, SAP, yeah, other ERP systems as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have yeah, what we call web services technology, mm -hmm. uh, which is, allows us to very easily integrate also with other yeah, tools out there um, and make it very seamless to exchange data. Because yeah, at the end of the day, that's not what you want to spend your time on, of course, just shuffling data around between systems. Yeah. You want to yeah, spend your time more on the analytics part that we just discussed. Fantastic. So talking about analytics, uh, Stefan. So now we are using a lot of data in our projects and analytics and especially visual data analytics. is something that's really everyone is looking for. Um, does uh, Kelopatra have incorporated visual data analytics into the tool and tell us like how we can just 
um, see everything in the project in one dashboard. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, of course. And so we have various dashboard capabilities built in into our system, uh, which users can really configure to their own liking. Uh, what kind of metrics, what kind of tables or yeah, graphic information do they want to see? in the system, uh, basically with all the data that yeah, is stored in the system, yeah, you can use that in the reports and dashboards that you build. Um, having said that, hey, what we also see more and more is of course integration with tools like Power BI. Oh, you can do that and too. And yeah, that's something we can facilitate as well. So can we have people do customized reporting of dashboards yeah. too, or it just whatever the pre-configured? Uh no, uh, so indeed uh, by setting up a connection with Power BI, hey, we have a dedicated connector for that. Nice. Yeah, you can basically use grab any of the data, grab it, uh, combine it maybe with data that comes from other systems to have a really all-in view of your project. Fantastic. Yeah. And how about the knowledge base? Because you, you said uh, you're doing a great job in capturing the lesson learned and using that data for future. Um, and that's something that I, I wish every tool provider is doing. So can you also give us more insight on how you use that big library of data that you're collecting and um, are you also considering any machine learning or AI or predictive analytics? Yeah, definitely. So, um, well, to start with the first part of your question, uh, we have actually um, a data team within our company mm -hmm. yeah, whose job is to really yeah, update, maintain the data that we have already collected in our system. Um, so we're also a consultancy company, so you can imagine that yeah, with all the projects that we do as a, as a consultancy company, yeah, we collect a lot of useful information uh, from vendors, suppliers uh, that we are involved with, um, which allows us to really build up a good database for yeah, uh, cost estimating purposes, for example, and to have all the rates, the norms in the typical projects that we do. Um, yeah, and that's really something that we are uh, focusing on very heavily and where also yeah, the analytics part, uh, AI can, can come in. Um, so it's for the future trends, not yet there. Right? Exactly, well, especially during these times, of course, that we are now in, uh, where we see yeah, high inflation. Yeah, we can use those techniques uh, to learn from the past and, and look at certain trends and predict how they will develop going forward uh, to really make sure that our data stays accurate. Fantastic. So, um, any new developments have you been recently working on in Kelopatra? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, well, I already mentioned uh, one or two. So, Power BI is a very nice addition to our platform, uh, which allows us to really yeah, integrate and yeah, build reports and dashboards even outside of the system, next to what we can already do inside of the system. Uh, another development that we're really proud of is our workpack management uh, tool uh, within Cleopatra. What's that? Uh, well, that really allows us uh, to define um, very clear work packages for our projects, and oh, it's also okay. used a lot within the turnaround uh, shutdown environment, oh, nice. uh, where it's, of course, even more important uh, to have a clear understanding of the work that needs to be done, how that's going to be scheduled, um, yeah, which contractor those work packages are being assigned to and just yeah, simply be able to track them during execution as well. And so yeah, that's something that we're really proud of to, uh, to bring to Cleopatra. So any future considerations? Uh, because the technology is moving so fast, everyone is talking about AI, machine learning, predictive analytics. So what uh, future trends you are working on? at the moment or considering for the future? Yeah, well, we have, uh, as always, a lot of ideas, of course, still uh, to yeah. keep improving uh, our platform. Uh, for that, we also yeah, listen to our clients, of course, and the feedback that they give us, um, yeah, any particular um, tools or features that they would be interested in. Um, so I think for the moment, uh, we see um, yeah, a lot of the focus on the data part. Uh, so how can we make use of the data that we collect uh, how can we make it more easily accessible uh, for our users? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's something we're going to focus on. Uh, so, um, yeah, for the foreseeable future or for the near future, I should say, um, yeah, we're really looking to yeah, make those enhancements to the system yeah, to just give our users an even better um, and an easier user experience. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Stefan. We appreciate that. And anyone who wants to learn more about Kelopatra, how they can learn from it? Yeah, well, uh, thanks, thank you first of all for, uh, for doing this interview. It's really, uh, really nice. And um, yeah, I think, well, people can contact us uh, by going to our website, of course. Uh, it's costmanagement.eu. Um, yeah, there you can... Uh, and from yeah. there, they can locate Kilopatra. Right? Yeah, you okay. can request a demo from us if you want to learn more about the tool or simply download some case studies. Um, yeah, and, and just find some more information about the system, what it can do.
Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Stefan. We appreciate yeah. that. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you so much.